everybody, it's Miss Stacy. I'm here to show you another day after drawing lesson. And this time we're doing a penguin. Check out this cute penguin. It looks like he's standing in a puddle or maybe on ice. I think it's a piece of ice. So what you're gonna need is a sheet of white paper and a pencil, a Sharpie, and some coloring supplies. So I got out my crayons, um, but you can use colored pencils um, for this, or you can even paint it with watercolors, whatever you decide. Once it's outlined in black, you can decide what supplies you wanna use. So let's get started. Let's take a look at our penguin, okay? So now um, I, you have to draw your penguin so that it kind of fills the page, like our example. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that, okay? So let's move over to our paper, all right? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line that is right about here on the page, not halfway, but down maybe the bottom quarter of the page. Draw a straight line all the way across. And then from the start of that line, come up and arc it around, making the penguin's body. Okay? Um, inside that arc shape, you're going to start right about here and you're going to just copy that shape that we just did and come all the way around like this. Okay, um, his flaps, his flap flippers, we're just gonna draw a curve shape on either side. Try to make sure they're in the same position on the side of his body. And then his feet, he has two feet, and they're just gonna be bubble shapes like, like this to almost like a half of a cloud shape like that. Okay, a penguin sort of has a peak here at the top of his forehead. So you're gonna bring a line down like this and a line like this to make the peak. And then this, just erase this line right there. Okay. He has a scarf on. Let's do the scarf before we do the face, okay? So starting right about here, draw a line that goes all the way across and you can sort of arc it a little bit. And then underneath it, try to match up, make it the same width and go all the way across. Okay, now the scarf has lines on it. This just makes it look like it has its material, like a ribbing. Okay, and so draw some lines like that. And then right about here, you're gonna put a circle shape right here. This is the knot of the scarf. And then you can keep continuing drawing your lines down. And then a scarf has tails on it, right? It's a long piece of material and you kind of wrap it around your neck and it has two tails. So let's draw those. They come out from that knot and they're like two rectangles that come out from that knot like that, okay? And then you're gonna put those ribs again on the triangle, on the rectangles, okay? And then the fringe is coming off of that scarf like this. Okay, just a series of lines. Okay, we're almost there, we're getting there. Okay, now we can do the face. Now we see where the face is gonna go. So you're gonna do two small ovals and just fill them in with your pencil. Okay, and then you're gonna do a smile, a smile and then that's gonna be a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom to make his beak. And then um, 
our penguin over here has some pink cheeks, but we can paint those on. We're not gonna draw those. We can paint those on um, as, we, um, as we color it in, okay? We can paint or draw those in. Okay, now <clears throat> our penguin, like I said, is standing on a sheet of ice. So we have to draw a horizon line and right about here on your page, draw like a curved line like this. This makes it look like a snowbank is behind him. Okay, and then let's draw some stars in the back, which will be like snowflakes. So it's just a long line and across and then crisscross it like this. Okay, you can do this, this isn't hard. And just draw a bunch of stars in the background, a bunch of snowflakes. So it looks like it's icy and it's snowing there where our penguin is standing. Okay, that looks like about enough. Okay, now let's draw the ice, the ice patch that he's standing on. So right about here where your penguin's body is, just draw a, an oval. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it wavy like this and then come up and continue it on the back. And then it looks like our penguin is sitting on a sheet of ice, like an ice pond, okay? Now, <clears throat> with a Sharpie, you're gonna um, have somebody outline everything for you, or if you feel comfortable, you can do it, but you might wanna ask a grown up to outline all of your pencil lines for you, and then you can color it. Like I said, you can use crayons, you can paint it, whatever you wanna do and um, you'll have your own penguin. Let's go back to the original. I think this one was colored in pencil. So it's so cute and I think you'll enjoy it and I can't wait to see your penguins. Bye.